Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and we've been dreaming about communication on our wrists ever since science fiction TV programs came on. And in any of these sort of sci-fi movies or TV shows, you're generally shown speaking to your wrist and not typing on it. So it's quite baffling then when companies decide to make watch phones with on-screen keyboards or build apps for wearable technology with built-in keyboards. But I've never actually used one myself, so I downloaded a third-party app recently launched called Messages for Android Wear. It's a free download and it works with virtually any Android Wear device on the market. Now it's been released to give you a native messaging experience on your wrist. It includes support for Hangouts as well as SMS messaging and it lets you read your text messages in the normal conversation inbox thread style view like you're used to. And to read a message all you need to do is to tap on one particular conversation in that inbox list. It supports emoji and it supports hyperlinks as well so you see them as you should on your watch. Like most messaging apps for Android Wear you can reply using voice dictation or you can use predefined text messages saying things like okay yes, no, or I'll be there soon, or whatever. Now there are in-app purchases on this free app. These will let you do things like set your own custom signatures or use your own predefined text to add to the list of standard ones. But what makes this slightly unique is that it has a built-in keyboard. And unlike most wearable on-screen keyboards, Messages for Android Wear doesn't just cram all the letters into one screen. Instead, it's made them bigger but that in turn means you have to swipe around a lot to find the ones you're looking for. Honestly, it does take forever and that's probably not an exaggeration just to type a message, especially if you're a stickler for punctuation or you like emojis or using uppercase letters. Now there is predictive text. If you swipe all the way across to the right, it gives you three suggestions, which would be useful if it could actually detect context which it can't, so it can't predict your next word, but rather it predicts a word based on the letters you have already typed. So if you're on one end of the keyboard and want to see a predicted word, you have to then swipe all the way across to the other side of the keyboard to see if your predicted word is there, which in most cases it probably won't be. So in my experience, predictions were mostly useless, leaving me to type on this keyboard with tiny letters and have to hunt around for the letters to begin with which is a very frustrating experience. So everything takes a lot more time than it should, which kind of takes away the whole point of having any kind of messaging app on Android Wear because I think anything on a wearable format has to be quick, easy and done within a few seconds, which means that in this case, voice dictation is actually a lot more reliable and it's quicker. So to me, I'm kind of wondering why the developers even bothered to do this in the first place, but saying that, reading early reviews on the Google Play Store have generally been quite positive. So maybe I'm alone in this. Let me know what you think. Do you think we should be typing away on our watches? Or do you think that's a waste of time? I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. You can follow me there. Don't forget to follow our official handle at 9to5Google. I'll leave link to this app and all our social handles in the description box. I'll see you again soon. Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and we've been communicating with our wrists ever since the first watch phones were on the market. Or at least the people who were daft enough to buy them were. 